So I texted my scarf and I'm not sure if it looks okay or not. I wouldn't wear it out in public unless somebody actually said it looked okay, but I kind of like it, other than the fact that it looks like I'm choking. <laughs> so I told you I was going to talk about what has just been going on lately through this video, so here is it. So yeah, starting my pitiful story, that was a very bad face. Um, it started out on Saturday, everything that has just been happening like crap to our family. So, Saturday, Sophie and I went to work, and Sue and Locke were there telling us that we had to work Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day, and we were like, um, New Year's Eve, oops, Christmas Eve, not New Year's Eve. We, we kind of go to our aunt's, so we, there's no way we can possibly work, and they're like, okay, but you have to work the other three days, and th then we get home and tell Mom and Pop, and they're like, no freaking way are you working Christmas, so, yeah, because it's obviously a Christian holiday, and so we tell them the next day, and they're okay with it, but... Obviously, we're not getting any days off anytime soon. So another thing that was bad that was happening at work was that Sue made me work at 4.30. That means I start at 4.15 because you have to work 15 minutes before when your time starts. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But, um, yeah, so I didn't get as much studying done this weekend as I thought I needed to. And it was making me really, like, nervous and crazy and stressful. And so, obviously, you've seen how stressed I've been. Yeah, so just an amazing way to add to that stress. Yesterday, I came home from school, and, like, there were no cars in the driveway, and nobody home. I And I'm like, okay, this is a little weird. It's a Monday. There should be a car in the driveway. So I sit down, and I watch some TV because I was putting off studying because I just needed some time. You understand that? Um, so then I get a call from Lydia's friend, Allie, and she's like, hi, can I speak to Lydia? So I'm like... Lydia's not here right now. She's. I'll call. Have her call you back when she gets home from school. And then Allie was like, "Lydia's up from the in school today." And I'm just starting to freak out when she said that. Seriously, I'm like, "Um, that's a little weird. I have no idea where they are." But when she does get home, I'll have her call you. So yeah, I I don't hang up on her, but we end the conversation. Then I call my dad, cell that cell phone, and he doesn't pick up. Then I call my mom's work phone because I'm not allowed to call her cell phone because that's only for emergencies because she gets in trouble at work. Anyway, she doesn't pick up there, so I call my dad's cell phone again, and he doesn't pick up, and then I'm just starting to freak out, because it's like, um, where's my family? Every little scenario is going through my head. So, yeah, they finally get home, and everybody's just, like, sullen face and stuff, and I'm like, um, what happened? And they're like, we got in a car crash. You got, you got in a car crash? Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, everybody is all bruised and not feeling good, and Sophie broke her foot. Or that's what they think, and so she's in a cast and crutches and stuff, which she can't use very well because everything hurts, and it's just a big, hairy mess, and our car is totaled. Totaled. That car worked perfectly. We've had to change the starter, like, twice, and it ran out of oil once. That's about it. And so now the insurance company is not going to give us much money because it had 215,000 miles on it. And it's just like, it's an old car, but it worked perfectly. So now we are out of a car. So we have a car and a van for eight people and four drivers. Yeah, that's not going to work very well. Oh, this is how it happened. That's how, what I wanted to talk about. This lady was coming, uh, this is what I heard. This lady was coming in the opposite direction of my mom's car and was turning into work, she said later, like she does every day. So she wasn't paying attention. Oh, you need to pay attention every day, and cut caught the front end of my mom's car. My mom was trying to turn with her so that it wouldn't be a head-on collision, and so it, the whole, like, side of the car is, if I get a picture, I'll show it. It's just, it's mangled and totally wrecked, and oh my gosh, the airbags went off, and it's just like, everybody's hurt. Little kids didn't get as much because of physics. <laughs> yeah, it's just a big, crazy mess. Okay. So, yeah, I had to try to study yesterday. I should have studied more, but I didn't need to, because I got all A's in my classes. I'm so excited. I didn't get all A's on the exams. First three hours, I got A minuses. Then World War II, I got a C plus. That is the worst grade I have ever gotten on a test, like, ever, and it was an exam. But I still got an A in the class, so that's good. And then I got a B minus on the chemistry one, which... This isn't too bad for that class. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so that's my happy news, which is just made my life feel so much better, and I'm just really happy. So I had cake today, which was really weird, and I only had a piece about that big because obviously it's chocolate, because we didn't have any ice cream. So I was very upset, and it's like cake without ice cream on a birthday. Hmm. 
Oh, well, I'm over it. So, I remembered what bad thing happened today. So, we were waiting for the bus, you know, and you had to go because you drove. And so, I was waiting there, and I'm like, okay, that was third load. Here comes fourth load. Wait, where's my number? What? I don't see my number. My bus didn't come. It just didn't come. And I was looking. Maybe it did, but Dana wasn't there either. So, it's like, um, I didn't see anybody from my bus. It wasn't like fourth load came before third load and nobody told me or anything. No, my bus wasn't there. So yeah, I missed the bus, I guess. And then I had to call my dad to come pick me up. So I'm sitting there freezing and it's just like, great. But I did turn in my Justin form, which is a good thing that I had time then. Because, yeah, kind of should have done that last Friday. But at least, hey, I'm going to get my cabin gown because I'm going to graduate. Yeah, weird. Monday's going to be like the first, last day of high school. Like, first, last trimester. Weird. Um, it still hasn't sunk in that I have vacation, but sleeping in tomorrow will help, so that's a good thing, too. So, there have been other things that have been happening, but I can't really think of much right now, so I'll just tell you them in person when I see you next, when I think of them. So, yeah, this will be the end of the video. Goodbye!